Today on Team and IT Jams, we're joined by Val Novosola, who's the Global Leading Product Development Manager at Search Inform. Val joins us today to discuss new trends in the information security space and how Search Inform is adapting to some of the new trends we're seeing. So thanks for coming along today, Val, and uh, welcome to the Jam. Thanks for having me here. No, no worries. Um, so let's just start off by um, discussing what the main trends are in information security. What do you think the main trends in information security are, in your opinion? Oh, well, there are a few trends in the development of information security sphere, which simply cannot be ignored, uh, ignored nowadays. Uh, some of them have been around for more than a year now, for instance, remote work. So such tendencies should be taken as a given and uh, thus they have to be taken into consideration when customizing business processes. So recently we have witnessed a global emergency shift to remote work and, uh, ne but nevertheless, now many organizations uh, still provide uh, their employees with the opportunity to work remotely, permanently or several days a week. Um, and basing on uh, our clients' practice, uh, we've revealed the following data. So for example, in um, 2019, uh, a bit more than 10% of employees worked remotely. In 2020, uh, the vast majority of employees uh, worked remotely. And in 2021, the percent of remote workers uh, decreased. Uh, however, the return to initial, in initial indicators um, didn't um, occur. Uh, thus, uh, it is required to build protection, uh, taking this um, important fact into consideration. So, and one possible and common uh, solution is uh, to deploy uh, protective tools in the cloud. Um, as a uh, data protection solution uh, can be deployed in the cloud, uh, business don't have to choose between, uh, you know, security, usability, and cost. So uh, no special hardware is required. The system collects, processes, and stores data in a virtual environment. So uh, such deployment model uh, will be suitable for companies that uh, don't have their own IT infrastructure, have their offices in different cities, countries, or have many employees working remotely. So previously, shifting to cloud was nearly a taboo for information security offices, and now we are witnessing a reverse trend. Uh, usage of cloud uh, technologies is becoming the norm for numerous uh, companies. So um, what steps do we take? Uh, Search and Form has become a partner with Microsoft, Microsoft Azure. Uh, cloud deployment model of Search and Form Risk Monitor provides customers with full functionality. Um, Search and Form uh, Risk Monitor can not only protect from data leaks, uh, but can also boost a number of additional features, such as data encryption, file system, access rights control, control of remote software as team viewer and analogous uh, agent led control of uh, telephony advanced uh, investigation tools and cloud data protection fantastic um and let's um drill a little bit more into uh, the trends relating to software development in particular what are the main changes you've seen here uh well uh it's important to mention a few trends blocking uh, the function intent to stop forwarding in any application and demand for open IP. Uh, uh, the function which allows blocking uh, transfer of specific uh, types of data, uh, financial, personal data, confidential data, and others. So um, has become extremely important uh, due to the um, um, opportunity to work remotely. So uh, thus, we have uh, multiplied types of blockings in uh, our risk monitor um, and implemented the brand new approach in our DCAP solution file auditor. So one more trend uh, that we have to um, support it is the increased demand for open uh, IPs. Uh, so customers want to modify products uh, to fit their own business processes, real or self-written software. Uh, and uh, companies need uh, sometimes um, 
uh, to change uh, everything, but they don't want to. And um, they need seamless interaction of all their IT uh, infrastructure components. So previously, programs worked in isolation and uh, solved separate tasks, and now this is no longer enough. So that's why uh, last year we paid a lot of attention to the development of our integration component, the Open IP. Awesome. Uh, that sounds really cool, and it's really um, valuable, um, uh, valuable technology you've got there. Um, in terms of uh, examining the difference between internal business process and external in terms of the integration of information security, what are some trends you're seeing in this space? Mm, uh, actual technology uh, partnerships between uh, vendors open up new opportunities for clients. Every year we integrate with new companies such as Huawei, uh, Azure, uh, Google Drive, OneDrive, WebEx, Splunk, Arcsys, so etc. So um, not long ago, we introduced the integrated solution uh, Ocean Store plus File Auditor. So additional security features um, have become available for all storage uh, systems from uh, Huawei. Now you can categorize information by content in the storage system. Uh, so monitor all operations with sensitive files, manage access to them, and archive critical copies. Fantastic. And um, if a company doesn't have a dedicated risk mitigation department or kind of lacks the resources to integrate data um, protection systems, is security as a service a good choice? Uh, nowadays, security as a service is an accepted model. Um, so with the active transition to remote work, small and medium enterprises realize they, that they just simply could not cope on their own, uh, lacking money, experts, time, whatever. So in 2019, we introduced an outsourcing service for such companies. So the advantage was that our clients received not only software, but also an experienced team uh, that they didn't need to hire and train. So um, during the pandemic, actually, when uh, everyone started to work remotely, we offered our clients to help uh, manage their tasks. So, um, and to manage this uh, risk. We outsourced 50 companies for free uh, for a couple of months and the clients um, felt the benefits firsthand. Uh, the reports showed that um, the team's discipline and motivation decreased, employees broke the rules sometimes, so different um, problems actually. So uh, it should be noted that expanding functionality through the same developer's product is just a matter of convenience, you know. You get all features in one place. Uh, you don't have to learn how to work in different systems. Everything's familiar and it's okay. And you save time for your information security experts. So it is convenient to go from system to system during investigation. Uh, and uh, seamless integration, yes, it extends system capabilities. So we all understand this. So uh, our uh, company provides clients with a few advanced tools for data protection and risk mitigation at different levels. For example, the level of IT infrastructure protection, protection is ensured by uh, the CM system. So at the level of file system, file, file auditor, our DCAP class system. So at the level of uh, workstation, data channels, and human-related risks, we work with uh, the DOP system. So the systems are integrated seamlessly, uh, operate on a single technological basis, and can be deployed within a few hours. So adding any uh, of the systems uh, significantly increases the functionality of the whole complex. That's awesome, especially for um, the hybrid work scenarios and things that are happening currently. Um, and in terms of, you've talked a little bit about it before, but um, in what way do you guys plan to contribute to the communities and uh, how is Search Inform adapting to all these new trends? Um, there are two constant tracks of development. So training of employees in this field of information security 
to increase their information security literacy and uh, sharing experience in the professional community. So uh, knowledge in the sphere of information security nowadays is just like uh, knowledge of traffic laws. So uh, you may not be a driver and you may even not want to be a driver. Nevertheless, you must know basic rules of traffic laws. So the same situation is with information security. Yeah. Um, everyone should strengthen their competence in this sphere. So we train ordinary users, uh, the basic of information security. Also, we have uh, created a full scale training courses focused on different industries and peculiarities of these industries. Uh, so in regarding communities, it is necessary to constantly exchange experiences in the sphere of information security. We annually organize a series of conferences called Search and Fun Road Show, uh, which is dedicated to the topic of risk management and information security. So uh, during the, these conferences, we share our experience, ideas, on the development and promotion of products. Uh, we examine trends and real life cases of our cl clients. Um, we uh, actually, we, um, we already have uh, an established scheme of um, these events. When we enter a new market, we don't just uh, organize the press conference. Uh, instead, we immediately involve the community, the local community, uh, with the help of our uh, social fund roadshow. And uh, moreover, we have opened a training center for our clients. So, so you see that information security and risk management have become trends in everyday life. Absolutely, yeah, and some exciting stuff from you guys there in the pipeline. Well, again, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today, Val. Uh, and uh, we look forward to hearing more from Search Inform in the future. Thank you, Mitch. Bye.